Hey, it's Joseph here. Today, I have the pleasure of showing you how to turn your 3D models into virtual tours to help your meetings and presentations. Sharing ideas and designs are made quite easy as you can view them on multiple devices such as your phones, tablets, computers, and even VR headsets. To do all of this, you are going to use a software and the service called Yulio. And this video is sponsored by Yulio. As an architectural technology enthusiast, I'm always on the lookout for finding new devices and the softwares that help us design and communicate ideas. Part of that has been everything from capturing 3D space, surveys, documenting information, designing, drawing, and 3D modeling. Then rendering as well as VR presentations. And apparently, Yulio touches quite a lot of those areas that I just highlighted. Yulio is a great 360 image and rendering hotspot hosting service. Hotspot is basically these points within 360 image that you can click on to move on to different spots. There are quite a few 360 photo hosting services out there, even a few that I actually have showcased on my channel, but none was made for hosting a series of rendered images of my 3D model. On contrary, Yulio can host pretty much all type of 360 images and can use any rendering software that will produce the 360 images for you. In my case, I can use V-Ray, Enscape, and Lumion to generate those 360 or often called panoramic images and just upload onto Yulio. And after processing, there you go. I have the 3D virtual tour that I can share with my colleagues and my clients. These projects that I have created can be shared via a simple link and people from all over the world can join a session from their smartphones, tablets, and even VR headsets. You can view all of these scenes together. The presenter would be able to direct multiple people from each views and even mark them up for better communication. I really like the fact that you can have a floor plan and have the hotspots, which are these little dots, automatically generated within each view. And if you wish to, you can add audio files, images, and videos to the project. If you can generate GLB 3D files, then an AR model can be added to there as well. I'm not going to pretend I actually know what GLB file is, so I'm going to skip that part. However, all of these things are core functionality of Yulio, hosting multiple project assets into a single 360 and VR experience that can be shared with one single link. It's quite useful, don't you think? If you have any thoughts or questions about this service, be sure to leave them down in the comments. I would love to have that conversation with you. In addition to all of these easy sharing of 360 experience, Yulio has introduced another feature called Yulio Jump. This is Yulio's own cloud rendering engine that automatically interprets your 3D models and produces the 360 tour experience. Yulio Jump works for Revit, SketchUp, and CT Designer. So I mentioned that I can simply upload any 360 images or panoramas from other renderer into Yulio. But if you use Yulio Jump, you can skip all of these steps and let Yulio do its thing. When you are in a time crunch, it is so helpful to be able to get the model into 360 experience so quickly. In order to get Yulio Jump working, make sure you download the Revit plugin from Yulio's website. I'll leave its link in the description. You can also download their example file, small office, then open the file up. I've made some modification to this model to kind of glamour up a bit, but it is mostly kept the same. Find Yulio Jump located in the add-ins tab. And this is how I left all the settings. You can match it if you would like. The difference between Yulio Jump and the perspective is the fact that the perspective is for 2D and the normal jump is for the 360 views. I will take Revit's environment lighting and select my project folder as test. For this folder, you can create extra if you log into your account on the web browser. Then make sure to select the 3D scenes that you would like to make as the 360 views. 
Yulio will generate all the hotspots automatically for you if you have this checkbox checked. Then you can also check this and make sure to set your model groups to a specific AR file for them to show as AR objects. For more details on this, you can visit their knowledge base website, which I will leave the link in the description. And be sure to select a floor plan that you would like to use to show all the hotspots shown on one image. In my case, I've dedicated this view as my floor plan. Start processing this by clicking create project. After a few moments, you will get a message box, step one and two, then also a prompt for the project being uploaded. One of the great benefits of using Yulio Jump is the fact that you are just uploading the model and letting Yulio server render them for you. Therefore, you can do all of this on less capable laptops or old machines. You don't need lots of cores of your CPU or giant GPUs. After a bit, typically I've waited only a few minutes to 30 minutes tops. Then you'll get an email letting you know that the processing has been finished. Then you can click on the view button to jump onto the project. And you can share this via a simple link or text message to other people. This link could actually be opened on your phone, computer, or a VR headset for more immersive experience. Again, you can hold a collaboration session to review things at the same time as well. And don't forget, you can mark up your views that way. And because we've generated all of these experience from a single project, both the floor plan and the views have the hotspots placed automatically. If you made changes or would like to replace the rendering, you can simply click on the replace button and upload better rendering from another render of your choice. I render all of these things on Revit 2022 version, and I understand Yulio's team is working very hard to implement all of those features onto the future versions as well. Because you can add more 360 images, I thought it would be interesting to add a real 360 photos that I've taken with Insta360 One RS 360 one inch camera edition and add to the experience for better context of the project. Even though this is a sponsored video, I want to say that the rendering results leave some to be desired. I'm sure that you can fine tweak things to make the renderings look more tasteful, but the fact that we can't change the rendering changes as we model it is a bit of a downside of the cloud rendering. However, I think it is important to understand that the Yulio is 360 image and rendering hosting at its core, and the Yulio Jump is there to help you to get to the 3D model into 360 experience quickly and easily. When the time is at a stake, having a simple solution like this can be a life save, I mean, the project saver. When you can develop your beautiful renderings with your choice of a renderer, just make sure to output a 360 image, upload to a Yulio for easy navigation and sharing with your colleagues and clients. I really like their method of using a single link for access and collaboration feature to review things together and even leave markups. For pricing, you can try Yulio for 30 days for free and test out things yourself to see if this would be a good fit for your overall workflow. And also you can book a demo with them to get an even better understanding of their service. Please check out the description for all of those links. I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, please don't forget to like this video and consider subscribing to my channel to continue watching these type of videos. And thank you so much for watching as always. I'll see you next time. Bye.